like many people in this room, I first got to know Arnold on the campaign trail. It was a tough nomination fight in Scarborough Agent Court. And it took me only five minutes to see that below the surface of this <coughs> slender, thoughtful, polite guy was a deep conviction and a core of steel. At the end of my last time with Arnold, he sat at the piano like so many of us had seen him do before. He cracked a few jokes before pointing to the music sheets to Elton John's Your Song and asked me to sing with him. Now, you all know that I don't sing often and there's a reason for that. But Arnold had me belting out the words while he played beautifully. Arnold, your song will forever be ours. I will forever cherish the many moments, great and small, we shared and the invaluable lessons you taught me about what truly matters. Rest in peace, my friend. My brother really loved politics, and the cruelest fate is that it was taken away from him so soon. He was diagnosed six months after his by-election victory, and it was because of him that I diagnosed myself on election day in 2015. And when his cancer returned in February of 2016, we went to treatment together. Let me tell you this, going with your brother to a cancer appointment jointly, getting blood work together for the exact same thing, is the strangest thing that anyone can ever go through. And he took his fate with absolute dignity, a fighter's mentality, and even though it was really excruciatingly painful, still with incredible humor. <laughs>